pot along? Well, to answer that question, right? Why do so many small businesses simply survive is the, you know, let's look at the ultimate survivor here. So we've got the caveman. So let's think about what the caveman's day consisted of. So the caveman's day was he wake up in the morning, he would go out, find the herd, sneak up on them, and go kind of find which one's gonna be the weakest and beat them with a club, drag them back to the cave, <laughs> and, and be fat and happy for a night. But then the next day, hopefully the herd was in the same place. And if it wasn't, he, he went hungry. And I, I kind of liken this to some of these peaks and valleys in revenue that so many businesses see uh, in, in the, the, the ever-changing climate today. And we're going to go through why that happens. So before we, we go through why that happens with most sales and marketing funnels, let's first establish what was the most innovative uh, invention or creation for the caveman. So we naturally, when Jimmy start running, starts running this uh, analogy <laughs> by mammal, uh, clearly it's controlling fire, which I still hold is true. But wrong. Him, no, <laughs> wrong. It. In this case, it was not fire. That's what most people say. It's the fence. And so the fence allowed the caveman to evolve from hunter-gatherer or survivor to rancher-farmer. It allowed him to start being able to project and forecast what crops were needed. He started to understand the life cycle of plants and animals to be able to, to do that. Now, I may be jumping the shark, jumping ahead a little bit here on this, but once Jimmy started rolling with that analogy, scientifically, I don't know if it holds up, but marketing-wise... <laughs> <laughs> One of the most simple things that I do as I'm helping a business scale and grow theirs is I start drawing lines on a whiteboard. Yeah. It's like, okay, here's a marketing channel. Here's a sales channel. Where does one start and one stop? It's amazing the clarity you get by drawing lines, putting fences around specific efforts. Here's where my sheep live. Right? <laughs> now I've got them captive. I don't have to be beholden to following the herd. Here's where I plant my corn. Yeah. Right? I know that if I plant it today, that five months, four months, whatever it is, it's going to grow into something that I can utilize. But it takes a lot of effort to think that far in advance. Yep, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs>